The Olden World Written by Tsar Yoshi Chapter 731 Valet's Double Trouble The sky was halfway between a thunderstorm and a crystalline day. The mountains might as well have belched, throwing down thick, smoky thunderheads, yet not enough of them to blot out the sun or form a proper storm. The clouds that existed grumbled, drifting around uselessly like black, puffy bumper cars, occasionally sending down just enough rain to make someone quicken their step for a few seconds at a time. It's like the weather is teasing Gashiva for getting busted up, Valet remarked from beneath a thick hood, trying her best to make it through the streets of Stormhoof without getting picked on by Everlast. Honestly, one of these days we're gonna have a proper storm. Been unusually nice weather for a while. Scheisbach walked beside her, humming faintly in agreement. It's just that time of year. The seasons will probably turn soon. Summer's last good showing. Yep, good thing we've got an anti-weather ship. Their walk led them to the Storm of Colosseum, where Valet's next fight was scheduled to begin. A week after she had tried to surrender to Senesei, time had stopped for no one, and it was time for her to decide again whether to throw in the towel or keep on going. So, what are you leaning towards? Scheinspach asked as they passed through the entrance. Mm, honestly? Valet shrugged. After everything? Ponies don't want me to continue, they don't want me to stop, they just want me to be happy, all this stuff. Eh, we'll see about later, but today, I'm gonna let my opponent decide. Then look at who it is. If they're nice, I'll let them win for free, and if they're a jerk, I'll clean their clock and think again next week. Okay then, Schneidberg slowed down, halting at the area only fighters were allowed beyond. I'll be in our box, watching. And for her challenger, how flourished his microphone dramatically, posturing next to Valet on the fighting platform. We have... His voice darkened ominously. Pierre. From the far tunnel stepped a lanky, aproned griffin with a balding crown, sharp mustache, and sharper eyes. Two gigantic meat cleavers were tucked beneath his wings, and his tail flicked as he walked like a metronome. Greetings, he announced in a voice that sounded like it had been refined through sheer force of will. At long last we cross blades, Admiral Valet. I have been anticipating this day for week upon week without end. I know you, and by the end of this, you will know me as well. Oh, yeah? Valet raised an eyebrow as Pierre entered the ring and how exited. So far, this dude seemed reasonable, but also like the type who might get mad if she threw the match. Maybe she could get away with it. I'm just a random bat pony. You know me from somewhere? Ho ho! Pierre chuckled, withdrawing one of his cleavers as he advanced. Months ago, you ran rampage through the kitchens where I was employed, earning the firing of my hot-tempered former boss. Blade form is an art not only for battle, and I practice it in all its nuances. He flung forward a talon, pointing a cleaver straight at her. Isn't it fitting we should meet like this again? Valet blinked, then narrowed her eyes in realization. Oh, you were... Huh, bananas. I guess I really do owe you a fight, Dan. You've been looking forward to this that much? Hmm, so much for offering someone friendly an easy victory. Maybe she could throw... And I'm Randorf! A new voice bellowed from Pierre's tunnel before a Pegasus built like a gorilla hurtled into the arena, hurling himself into the air with a corkscrew triple flip and pile-driving straight for Valet's head. Whoa! Hey, watch it! Valet vaulted to the side as he smashed into the platform, rippling with muscle, a pair of tight tights around his waist, only for Pierre to take a swipe at her as she dodged, forcing an emergency duck as she lashed out and repelled a flat of the blade with a huff. Hey, what gives? Pierre grinned, winding up with a second blade for another swipe. On God! Randorf straightened up, standing on his hind legs, and flexed. On God! Wait, two of you at once? Valet flipped out of the way of the next strike, sliding to the edge of the arena and waving frantically at Hal. Hey, 
Hey, is this cheating? How blinked? Is what cheating, my dudette? Valise's eyes bulged, her cutie mark telling her she had time for about one more reply. You know, fighting two of them at once. Didn't you read the rules for round three, how called back? You were spared with a golden regent. The leg groaned. No, she hadn't been briefed on the rules since round two by Wallace, and yes, she remembered them being complicated and dramatic. Eh, served her right for not even looking who she was fighting. Without even watching, she flipped along the edge of the platform, landing at a corner with both enemies halfway through their advance. All right, then. Valet's eyes smoldered, and she grinned. Guess I'm cleaning house with both of you. Randorf beat his chest, still standing on his hind legs. Pierre flourished a meat cleaver, preparing to lunge across the arena to strike at her. Yeah, knives were scary. Time to get rid of those first. Rah! Valet launched herself at Randorf, hoping Pierre would extend to protect his buff ally. The griffin took the bait, sending a blade to chop at her outstretching limb, and Valet turned her assault into a bicycle kick, delaying perfectly to hammer the flat of the blade instead. That still left her with the Pegasus himself and another meat cleaver spitting around towards her back. Uh, dodging in any direction would be too obvious. Randor's four hooves arced from above in a mighty linked blow, and Valet leapt to the side, flying straight into Pierre's face. No chopping, she yelled, only to be met with a very pointy griffin beak its owner clearly knew how to use. Her cutie mark warned her of another blow from Randorf aimed straight at her spine, a second away as she batted at Pierre and tried to keep his pecking head out of her eyes. These two weren't slouches and weren't giving her any space. With a powerful kick, Valet launched both of her rear hooves together to counter Randorf's blow. The force of the assault jolted her painfully, but all their momentum and more was transferred to her in what had been a grappling match with Pierre bolt the griffin over. Valet quickly rolled, preventing him from chopping her as he flipped over and recovered first, stomping hard on a talon. Pierre yelped in pain, trying to roll over and cover himself with the second cleaver, but Valet was able to wrench the first one from his weakened grasp. Sidestepping the swing, she reared up, turned around, and met Randorf's immediate charge, holding the cleaver by the blade and thrusting its pole like a spear, viciously slamming straight between his legs. Randorf sidestepped, knowing that move well. Not so easy, he started to laugh, but Valet inverted a blade at the last second, catching his dancing leg like a scythe and flinging herself past him out of the reach of Pierre's counterattack. Randorf's momentum from the dodge was against him, and Valet lifted hard, using the handle of the cleaver like a lever to pull his leg out from beneath him and send him toppling to the side. You're clever, aren't you? Pierre huffed, getting to his legs. Randorf capsized, but was no worse at being a quadruped than a biped. He landed on four hooves, already lashing out with a targeted leg in a mighty kick, but Valet was in the air, judging Pierre couldn't stop her in time and bringing the flat of the cleaver down like a frying pan on the buff Pegasus's head. Clang! Valet still had time. Chung! She whacked again, straddling his shoulders and spinning the cleaver about to keep as much momentum as possible. Pierre was upright. He lunged for her, but she brought the knife around in an arc, carving a sideways figure eight in the air that caught his attempt to parry and threw him off balance, ending in another bringing blow to Randorf's skull. Clong! Ugh, Randorf wheezed. Hoping he had had enough, but not able to risk more, Valet was forced to turn her attention to Pierre. She kicked off Randorf's back, planting a hoof on his head for good measure, vaulting and assaulting Pierre from the air with a double overhead chop. Pierre raised a talon to catch the incoming handle, refusing to block with his blade, and instead targeted a strike at Valet's side. Ha! <laughs> nope! Valet angled her strike at the last second, pummeling Pierre's cleaver awkwardly with the tip of hers. It was far more effort than the relief it earned her, but she was back on the ground, position reset to neutral, with the stunned Randorf at her back. Mm, he would be waking up again. Pierre grinned. You know your way around one of these too, I see. Nah, Valet shrugged, then tossed him the stolen cleaver. It's all just stuff to hit people with. Bringing a weapon is cheating anyway. Pierre caught the returned blade, blinking in surprise at the gesture. Blinking for a millisecond too long. Valet punched him in the face. Nyaha!
The lake caught both of the cleavers in midair as Pierre was flung backwards, hitting the ground and toppling out of the ring. She spun to Randor, who had just gotten up enough to flex. Valet eyed him evenly, spinning the cleavers on her wings. Okay, buddy, you want to do this the easy way or the hard way? Bring it! Valet brought it, sliding in on a rear to bait a low blow. Even with his ringing head, Randor saw through it, clapping his mighty hooves high. So Valet kept on sliding, taking advantage of him rearing up. He might have evaded her shot last time, but now he was dazed and she had two cleavers, and there was nothing Randorf could do to spare himself. With a crash and a groan, he hit the ground, and Valet rose behind him, tossing a cleaver and catching it. That it? She looked over her shoulder and got a whimpered assent and reply. Yeah, that's it. Here, Pancake. Valet tossed how the cleavers, stepping down and out of the arena. These are way cooler than that rapier. Good game, you two. See ya! End of chapter 731